Hey guys, here's a couple quick tips to start out your week. So one thing I found when I'm out shuttling and I have the bike on the tailgate pad, even when it's strapped down, I scratch the hell out of my frame. So what I discovered today is you can go down to the dollar store, you can get these little pieces of pool noodles for like $2 a piece and cut them right in half like this and then they slide right onto the frame and then you run that when you have them on the tailgate pad and like the frame stays mint, there's no scrapes anymore. So just like pop it on, throw it in the latch and then have it like sitting in here and yeah, it holds nice and firm. You strap it down still. It's just, it's like pretty tight on the straps, but your bike's not going to move. It's not going to get scraped up and, and that works mint. Okay. The second thing I figured out today, how to get a really solid bike lock in the back of your truck without spending a ton of money on like a heavy duty bike lock at a bike store. So I went down to Home Depot and I bought these weatherproof, nice seal padlocks and they go on the back of the truck. And then I went and I bought a heavy duty chain with some nice coating and you, you can't get cutters through these things. This is for a home duty equipment. So I got one of these right here, nice heavy chain. And you can see it right there. So what I started doing is I, I used the chain for this and then I took an old bike tube and I cut it right in half. So I cut it off on each end of the valve here. And then I just started sliding it in. So I'm gonna finish that in a minute here and then you have a nice padded chain to lock your bike with and you don't have to go and you, you don't have to spend like 150 bucks on some nice fancy bike lock. I think I maybe spent in total the two padlocks. I got them as a value pack of three and then the chain. I think everything came to like $60. So yeah, it worked out really well. It's a lot cheaper. It's a lot more solid and safe. I feel like you don't want to use those crappy little cable locks you see everybody have in the back of their trucks. It's just not as secure. So those are my tips for the week. I hope you guys like those and leave your feedback and comments below. Cheers. See you next time.